Hello friends, first of all, welcome of all of you in this video lecture series of 12 Commerce Economics. Before starting this lecture, I just revised what we studied in previous lectures so far. We studied what is meant by microeconomics, microeconomics, various features, importance of micro and macroeconomics. So next, what is meant by utility, what is meant by law of demand, what is meant by law of supply, what are the determinants of demand, types of demand, what is meant by individual demand, what is meant by individual demand schedule, market demand schedule. Then elasticity of demand, types of elasticity of demand, determinants of elasticity of demand. So, up to this lecture we completed three topics of economics through video lectures. So from this lecture we start the next topic that is supply analysis. Supply analysis. Like a demand analysis, demand analysis shows the consumer's approach, how a consumer behave, how a consumer behave with the or how the demand of consumer changes with the change in the prices of the commodities. That is the consumer behavior in market, maybe in individual market as an individual demand or as a market demand. That is demand of all individual consumers. So, supply analysis shows the producer behavior. Supply analysis shows the producer behavior. How a producer behave? or how a producer sells its various goods and services at different prices in a given period of time that is a supply if there is a rise in the price or if there is fall in the price what is the behavior of supplier what is the behavior of supplier so all these things we studied under this particular topic that is supply analysis like demand analysis we also studied here what is by individual supply what is by market supply what is by law of supply what are the determinants of supply so first of all supply supply like a demand supply is also a fundamental economic concept the total amount of specific goods and services that is available to seller for selling that is supply the total amount of goods and services available for a sale at a specified price is known as a supply the total amount of goods and services the total amount of goods and services available for sale total amount of goods and services available for sale at a specified price is known as a supply is known as a supply okay so supply that is the amount of goods and services available to the seller to sell at a given specified price in the market that is the supply so, next concept is output. Then what is meant by output? Output is produced. Output is produced in the production process. Output is produced in the production process. Output is produced in the production process. By output, what is by input, and what is by input? Okay, what is by input or what is by production process? 
production of potato chips. Potato is the input to take a production of potato chips. Then what is the process of production? The process in which input is converted into the process in which the input is converted into output is known as a production process. The process in which input is converted into output is known as production process. Then what is meant by total output? The total output can be defined as the sum total of quantity of commodity. The sum total of quantity of commodity produced at a given period of time in the economy. Sum total of quantity of commodity produced at a given period of time in the economy at a given period of time in the economy that is the total output that is total production of goods and services in the economy in a given period of time total production of goods and services in the economy in a given period of time that is the output output or production so the next production leads to consumption in the production process inputs are converted into output of finished goods in the production process inputs Stock is more than the 
the supply. Stock is more than the supply. Stock is the part of production and supply is the part of stock. Stock is the part of production and supply is the part of stock. It's the relative term. It's the 
relates with the price, time and quantity. Between market prices, between market prices and the amount of goods, quantity of goods, that is the amount of goods that producer are willing to supply. P. Samuelson means it is a relation between market prices and the amount of goods that producer are willing to supply. Means it is a relation to it relates to the quantity and prices and time. P. Samuelson. For example. The farmer's total output of rice is 4,000 kg. 4,000 kg. Farmer's total output of rice is 4,000 kg. This is the total stock. This is the total stock. The price is 40 per kg. The price is 40 per kg. The farmer actual he offers 1000 kg. He offers 1000 kg rice. This is the actual supply. This is the actual supply. Means total production or stock is 4000 kg. And when price is 40 per kg, the farmer offers 1000 kg of rice. That is the actual supply of rice. There is direct relationship between supply and price. There is direct relationship between supply and price. If price rises, supply also rises. If price falls, supply also falls. Because it is the common behavior of the producer. It is the common behavior of the producer that he is willing to supply his goods at the highest and highest and highest prices. At a particular time period or at the given time period. This price, the rise in price of minus one is the fall in price of minus false. Supply the rise in prices, supply also rise, the fall in the prices, supply become falling. The supply there is also fall in this quantity supply. So there is direct relationship between Price and supply of goods. Price and supply of goods. For today, I stop here. After watching this video, you have to write down distinction between stock and supply. Definition of supply. Definition of stock. Thanks for your cooperation in watching this video. Thanks for watching. Good day.